Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So Summoner's Choice 2023 is here and in this video I am going to briefly go over each of the possible options with a brief kind of like a description of their, you know, abilities and general information about the champions and then I will reveal who are going to be the champions that I personally vote for. And uh, we're gonna start off with obviously Echo. So Echo is a character that I'm personally not too interested in. She does have uh, Native American origins. We have recently seen uh, Echo on the silver screens or in Disney Plus in Hawkeye series. She is getting her own series as well. And the base idea is that uh, she is an adopted daughter of Kingpin. She's connected with obviously all the crime organizations there. She's an extremely skilled fighter and uh, she's death so uh, that's obviously you can read more about her i'm going to leave all of the links in the video description that i'm using for these videos if you want to read up in details about uh, any of these characters in particular echo i did not find uh, marvel fandom wiki but there was a general wiki page and uh, yeah that is echo she would be skill class character and uh, you know it's uh, kind of like typical thing with Kabam. There are some interesting things that uh, she could do. They should give her. They could potentially give her some new immunity to Sonic-based weapons. Maybe if Kabam is feeling creative. But uh, obviously, she would kind of fit quite well in the skill character mold. Next champion is somebody that we all know. We have talked before. We have voted about him before. And it's Bullseye. I know he is a lot of people's favorite. And the base idea is he's a psychopath turned killer or assassin. And his entire shtick is that he throws anything with incredible accuracy. He's also a ma master combatant. And uh, we have seen Bullseye several times. We have seen Bullseye in Daredevil series. We have seen Bullseye in the Daredevil movie with Ben Affleck, uh, which, you know, is not necessarily everybody's taste. So he's, he's expert acrobat, Olympic physical conditioning. And uh, the, the the biggest thing about, obviously, him is the fact that uh, he can virtually turn anything into a weapon and throw it with a deadly accuracy. And uh, he's also quite intellectual. You know, he's not he's not dumb. He's not stupid. But uh, here <laughs> he's di displayed as uh, not overly intelligent. But anyways, fighting skills is kind of like the main thing. Uh, so yeah, Dead, uh, Daredevil and therefore by extension also Bullseye are quite popular characters. So I know a lot of people will be supporting them. And uh, now we have Hobart Brown, which is the Spider-Punk, which is another Spider-Man character. And uh, I don't know too much about him, but the base idea is he is identical to Peter Parker of Earth 616, pretty much. And uh, I don't know too much. Besides that, he uses <laughs> he equipment. He has electric guitar as well. I don't know exactly what he does with it. I think he's a fairly bit newer character. And uh, it's another spider person. So if you like Spider-Man, obviously you probably want to see him added to the game. If you if you think we have enough Spider-Man, then it's not going to be getting my vote. I'm going to tell you that much. Fix the old Spideys first, because the symbiote Spidey, OG Spidey, is getting a buff. And, um, you know, make sure that those are neat. And stop turning them all into a glass cannon type of champions. And then maybe I'd vote for him. But that's the thing. I really like spider characters in general. Some of my favorite Marvel characters are, you know, OG Spider-Man and the rest of them. But uh, in this game, it just don't tickle my fancy too much because Kabam thinks that they have to be extremely squishy, even though they're extremely durable. And uh, at this point, I'm kind of over spider characters in MCOC. I think we have now. Now, here we go. We have the White Tiger, Awayala. And um, she's quite interesting. She would be a mystic champion. She would also kind of fit in skill category. Uh, she has extremely good fighting skills and also several different types of mystic abilities. She's actually uh, an apprentice of Tigra as well. Uh, Tigra did teach her about you know her abilities and fighting skills and stuff like that. She's basically powered by a medallion who I believe comes from Kanlan, uh, which basically kind of connects her and cr makes her into a tiger gaunt avatar and uh, she would in her, her reality would be a fairly similar champion to tiger in my opinion at the very least on on the outlook and the base set of abilities so we could see some neutralize we could see ruptures or stuff like that some kind of interesting 
fight style again as tiger quite literally has been the teacher of the white tiger she's fairly new character but she's been kind of like all over the place recently and she's kind of exploding in popularity and uh, for me personally she's going to be getting one of my two votes uh, as i said i'll reveal who i vote for and uh, that is because uh, i think she is quite cool and uh, i also like the fact that she could be potentially quite similar to tiger so kabam would get another chance to put up another spin on tiger maybe you know make it slightly less easier for people to use and stuff like that but uh, when it comes to abilities you know it could probably look fairly similar to that and uh yeah i just think uh she would be one of the champions that i do personally vote for as well because i do person i'll also really like mystic class and now we have deathlock and there are several different versions of deathlocks but uh we have seen deathlock in agents of shield in past uh luther manning is like the dominant the prominent version i suppose of him and the point of uh, Deathlock is that he's kind of a cyborg. He has a ton of cybernetic enhancements, so he would be tech class champion. All of his weapons are typically something like plasma based or something like that. He has AI ability capabilities as well built in with him as uh, superhuman speed, durability. And um, yeah, he's basically a superhuman cyborg type of character. And um, he could be kind of cool. Uh, in theory, his ability should be kind of similar to Omega Sentinels or Shuri's or something like that, shock and plasma based. Um, but, you know, there could be some additional stuff with him as he is part human. Um, still, but he was a human and then much less so. I'm not the expert on the comics, but uh, Deathlock is, you know, quite decent character. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with Deathlock. It's just not one of those that quite tickle my fancy. <laughs> then we have Kalark or the Gladiator. The Gladiator is a cosmic powerhouse champion. A lot of people will want to vote for Gladiator based on the power scalings alone because uh, he is, without a doubt, uh, the strongest champion, uh, like in theory, in Marvel Universe, from the ones that we would be voting here for. As we can see here, his strength, speed, and durability are all at seven, energy prediction, fighting skills, six. And uh, he's basically a spin on a Superman in a version, but. Uh, you know, he has his own backstory, he's obviously an alien, and he went through the Gladiator program, has all of the super breath, uh, he's basically, you know, Hyperion or Superman version 2 or 3.0. Uh, he has accelerated healing factor, microscopic vision, heat beams, flight, all of the, all of the Superman stuff. The interesting thing about him is that uh, he is affected by his confidence, where if he loses confidence in himself, then he gets substantially weaker and vice versa if he you know is confident of his abilities he is stronger and uh, I, I do think that is quite interesting so that could be also quite an interesting spin on kind of like building fight momentum or building confidence in a fight to kind of like unleash your top level power but at the same time i do think that cosmic is already like the most jacked class and uh, whoever wins some of choice is probably going to be like a very good champion because kabam has stuck to it you know with quicksilver with hercules and then also you know introducing omega sentinel all of those champions are you know very well balanced with a ton of care that goes into them and uh, do we need another kind of like cosmic powerhouse mountain and um, when cosmic class is already so far ahead of everybody else in my personal opinion no obviously you should vote for whoever you want and enjoy the most so in just saying my opinions does not mean that i should affect you know what you vote or anything of the sort you should vote for what you want that's the best idea and uh, i will not be voting for gladiator i think it, he would be cool addition to the game but as i said i think cosmic glance at the moment is about as jacked as it is and if they get like an extra champion on top of the whatever they have scheduled for the year you know it's just one of those things now we have Shiro Yoshida or Sunfire, and uh, Sunfire is a mutant, and with uh, that, he basically is a mutant version of Human Torch. He projects, you know, like, he's all about fire and plasma and uh, things like that, and uh, he can, he is very, very strong. Uh, he also has kind of his own Nova burst mode, just like Human Torch. Um, he can create force fields with his, you know, plasma shield he has heat signature sense where he can sense you know body heat uh, he can emit plasma and fly he's quite strong 
uh, he is trained in karate, Jap Japanese uh, samurai swordsmanship, and kendo. And uh, he's quite cool as a mutant. I don't know too much about him, but from what I read, I quite like him. And uh, he would likely be... Uh, he or Maro will be my second vote, because I do think mutants kind of need a bit more love. <laughs> Kabam did mutants dirty in 2022, I think. Uh, and... Um, the only kind of like um, hesitation here is because, you know, he could be very, very similar, for instance, to Sunspot, because we already have kind of like a human torchish mutant, which is Sunspot. But, you know, he does seem like very cool. And then the final champion is Maro. And Maro is one of the Morlocks who are basically kind of like underground mutant tribe, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I could be a bit off here, but the base idea is that she is a mutant and uh, her abilities all involve making weapons out of her bones and growing out her bones, using them as daggers and stuff like that. It's kind of like a uh, different spin on Wolverine. One of the cool things about uh, Marrow is that uh, she also has two hearts, and it's kind of like an interesting bit of trivia here that they mentioned, where she was uh, able to survive having her heart ripped out because she has two, and then he, she has enhanced healing factor which uh, lets her regenerate. So she would be like a regenerating mutant, something like that. And uh, yeah, I, I think this is going to be my second spot uh, or second vote either way. So I think I'm personally going to be voting for Marrow. And, and again, you should vote for whatever you want. I will leave all the links to all of these character pages. If you want to jump in more deeper detail, you can do so. I'm going to vote for Marrow. Because, uh, you know, it's a healing factor mutant that could have some interesting spin, you know, with bleeds, with these bone uh, throwing and, and, and uh, growing mechanics and stuff like that. Uh, and I do think mutant glass needs some help. Because they have been falling the rankings list quite quickly, in my opinion. And last year was very, very rough for them. So if they can get an extra character, even though they are fairly sizable class, um, I, I do think... That's a good idea. And my second vote is going to be for White Tiger, largely for her similarity with Tiger, her connection with Tiger, uh, the fact that I do quite like Mystic Champions as well. There are no great science champion options, because science is my favorite class typically, but uh, again, I'm all for, you know, different spin on a Tiger or have somebody redoing uh, uh, Tiger again for players, for instance. And again, knowing that whoever gets added is going to be a good champion. Um, I just think she is quite cool as well. So <laughs> there you go. So uh, that's what I'm going to be voting for. I'm going to be voting for, for White Tiger and for Marrow because number one here, we have Tiger Connection and she would be quite similar champion to Tiger as Mystic. And then we have Marrow as, because I need mutants, need a bit of help and uh, a mutant, you know, with kind of like the basic traits there seems quite cool. And uh, obviously, then we still have the Sunfire, we have Deathlock, we have Spider-Punk. He would, I think, Spider-Punk is the only one that would be science, I think, here. Yeah, but I'm totally over Spider-Man. So there you go. Uh, but here we are. It's up to you who you vote for, 1000%. But I do hope that this video kind of gave you like a brief insight on all of these characters. As I said, all the links are going to be in the video description should you want to read up more on them. And uh, let me know who you want to vote for. See you soon, guys. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the next month.